guys, welcome back to my series. If you're new here, I'm Lily and I run a micro bakery small business called Lily's Loaf in South London. So welcome back guys, I hope you're all well. Is this too bright? It might be just a little bit too bright. There we go, I think that's a bit better. I wanted to start on the theme of today's video. So this is something that I thought about just like a week ago. I wanted to talk about like energy as a baker. So as it's probably obvious, being a baker is very, very physical and labor intensive. And I guess over the past two and a half, almost three years of doing this full time and being a self-taught baker and a business owner, it can be very, very exhausting. So I wanted to just share like a few things that are helping me in my day-to-day -day life and just a few hacks and things that I've come across along the way. I am still trying to manage my own energy so that I'm not completely wiped out by two o'clock in the early afternoon. Um, but I thought it might be useful if some of you guys are starting your own micro bakeries or businesses or your bakers and maybe you can share some tips with me too in the comments down below. Like, I always want to feel like I have more energy. There were certain things that I was doing in my day-to-day -day life which was kind of harming me more than just giving me energy and rest. So yeah, I've got, I've got like a few little things that I thought might be helpful. So I start my working day between half four and five in the morning. So I am now setting my alarm for 4.30, but the alarm clock that I have, which is actually one of my tips, is a Lumi lamp. And you may have heard of it, of this already. Um, it's a little bit of, a, of an investment. I got this for Christmas, because I really wanted it a couple of years ago and it is so so nice it really makes a big difference in terms of waking up more naturally and feeling a little bit more refreshed because it starts waking you up half an hour before your alarm goes with the light so it feels like you're kind of waking up with the sun and it doesn't feel so sudden and so urgent and like to the sound of a horrible iphone alarm <laughs> Um, so I would say that's definitely one of my tips. I don't know, it might not be for everyone, but I do find that this helps a lot. Now, my second thing is before, because I used to wake up pretty tired because I was going to bed too late for when I was waking up, um, I used to come down, I might have a little bit of water and then I would have coffee soon after I started work at half four or five. But what I found is I would have massive crashes in the early afternoon and I would have another coffee mid-morning to wake me up even more. But then the more coffee I had, the more crashes I had. So I'd just be completely wiped out. Not to mention in the evening as well, I would find it more difficult to get to sleep and then just not feel refreshed in the morning. And this is all like individual, this is my own personal experience. I think some people are more sensitive to caffeine than others, but I definitely am because I remember when I first started drinking it at uni and I used to drink it way into the afternoon and just be staring at the ceiling at night time because I could not get to sleep at all. So I think personally I'm quite sensitive to caffeine and coffee in particular. She says drinking a matcha. <laughs> um, so yeah, what I have been doing these days, the past couple weeks or so, is waiting a couple hours, if not a bit longer, to have my morning coffee. And I now have it after breakfast or with breakfast, just because I feel like it was making me a little bit frantic and it was just kind of like zapping my own natural energy. So I kind of wait for my body to wake up naturally. And then I still love the coffee. I still really enjoy it, but I just wait a couple hours and I'm finding my 
sleep is definitely so much better and also just general energy throughout the day is better. Another thing that I've been doing as a baker, um, because obviously your schedule is different from the average working person or just normal person in general, um, I'm kind of moving everything earlier so I used to have the coffee and then I used to have breakfast only when I like paused for a little bit throughout my working morning and by that time it was like 10 o'clock half 10 and then if I'm having breakfast then I'm not really hungry for lunch until 2 or 3 and then I'm not really hungry for dinner until much later and when I need to be in bed from like 8 o'clock I really need to be pushing everything a bit further forward so I've been having my breakfast much earlier and just moving all of my like eating times much earlier into the day and I'm finding this is really helping just get everything done a bit earlier and then it just I don't know it just makes sense because your working day is or just your natural day is starting so much earlier it makes sense to have breakfast earlier have lunch earlier have dinner earlier and then you can go to bed earlier um, it's just making a lot of sense to me because otherwise you're just eating too late and then going straight to bed and then I get really bad heartburn and <laughs> it's just not fun. So yeah, I really pushed everything further forward and I'm finding a bit more of a rhythm um, as I go about my day. Another thing as a baker and just as a business owner in general, what I'm finding is because I am on my feet the whole day and a lot of what I do is quite tiring. I do tend to limit my social plans to just like the weekends or whenever I have a day off. So in the general weekdays, I don't, in the evenings, I don't tend to like see my friends or anyone that much unless it's a real special occasion. I don't know, it might be a bit boring, but I'm just genuinely trying to find the best balance for me because I do, f when it comes to the evening, I just kind of feel very, very tired and all I wanna do is like watch some TV, watch a film or make myself something nice for dinner or my family something nice for dinner. So for the most part, I tend to limit my social plans to the weekends and I really look forward to those times. And a lot of the time I see my friends in the morning for coffee or for breakfast or like last weekend one of my friends is going away traveling for a few months and she was having a leaving party in the evening but I wasn't working the whole weekend so that was actually really nice and I think a good exercise for me because I tend to kind of lock myself into routines and plans and I know that that isn't good all the time like life is about balance and I do need to go out sometimes in the evening um, but I do tend to get a little bit stressed out about that just because my working days start so much earlier but when I don't have to work the next day then I I do make um, not excuses but I do make what's the word I've forgotten the word even with my birthday recently I went out and I made plans in the early evening and we went to a lovely wine terrace bar and it was so nice and I guess it's just about like making plans work for you but then also being flexible too um, so I really maximize the mornings when, on my days off or early evenings for lovely drinks and maybe an early dinner so that's kind of how I'm finding the balance in terms of social life. Um, but it is true because I give so much of myself to my work and to the business. Um, I often just don't have the energy to go out in the evenings. And I'm, for the most part, I'm okay with that. But at the same time, I do really want to see my friends and they're really important to me. And you've got to make time for those relationships in your life, so yeah. Oh yeah, another thing that I really like to do, it might be a bit weird, but um, when the sun is coming up and when there is light outside in the morning, so 
for most of my days, I won't finish work until midday, one, if not two. Um, and I might not go outside until that time because I'm just like head down working. But what I do like to do is I like to poke my head out <laughs> into the garden and really like expose my eyes to the natural daylight because I don't know, I think there's certain science around like getting your body outside to set the circadian rhythm. I'm like really into sleep and all these things. Um, I'm a big fan of the Happy Pair and I listen to their podcast and just like about getting your eyes exposed to that to the natural daylight can really help your brain wake up and understand that okay it's morning time now and I think just as like a human you are meant to see the daylight and it's it's good for you so when you are working strange hours as the baker um, it's just something that I like to do so I literally just poke my head out have a nice look outside look at the sky um, do a little stretch and then head back into work I am trying to go to the gym a bit earlier as well in the afternoon so at like I try to go half three or four o'clock and I might spend an hour, two hours there because they've got a nice sauna and a steam room there as well so I kind of do a little workout and then I'll go and have a shower and a sauna and I'm loving it at the moment, it's so nice, it feels like the whole sun is on my entire body and it just feels so luxurious and just like because I'm looking down a lot with my work I tend to get a bit of a sore neck and like it clicks a lot so after I come out of the sauna I feel so much more relaxed. Um, something else that I've heard from my baker friends is compression socks so I still haven't got these and I haven't tried them out but when you're on your feet for long periods of the day you can feel like your legs are like lead and so heavy and one thing that I do is I lay with my back on the floor and my legs up the wall and that helps really drain the blood back from the feet back down and it just kind of lightens the load a bit and I find, I find that that's quite restorative and quite lovely. Um, but some, some of my baker friends have suggested compression socks, so maybe that's something to try. I need to invest in a pair myself. Um, I feel like that'll be nice for market days as well as prep days and bake days, so yeah. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this random video. Um, yeah, it's just something that's kind of been on my mind and I'm just trying to really make sure that I feel my absolute best as a baker because it is tiring and it is labour intensive and a lot of the time you can feel completely exhausted so I'm just trying to um, feel my best and hopefully you guys found this useful in some way and you can maybe try a couple of the tips maybe you'll like them maybe you won't um, but yeah leave me any tips down below as well on how you like maximise your energy and make sure that you're feeling good all day every day not all day every day but most of the time anyway guys thank you so much for watching leave me a comment down below don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you next week for another video bye guys